Hi, I'm Ryan Olson, editor of Concrete Contractor Magazine, and we're here today at the 2014 World of Concrete Show, and with me is Juan Quiros. He's with Multiquip. Juan, can you tell me a little bit about uh, balloon lighting? I understand that it's certainly taken its, its uh, popularity over the last few years. What do you have to offer to the marketplace? Well, Ryan, you're absolutely right. We have had a lot of new products introduced in the way of balloon lighting the last few years, and this year is no different. What we actually are looking at right here is the GB4000 4000 watt balloon light, and it is a, an accessory that you can use on a multi-clip light tower. Uh, in this particular case, uh, this balloon light has four 1000 watt metal halide bulbs, and they're completely enshrouded in the balloon as you see up above. The balloon itself is made of a very durable, water-resistant material, and it diffuses the light. While you, if you went to a normal job site, you would see a light tower that would produce a lot of glare. In this case, the diffused lighting makes it easier for the workers on the site to work safely, and also it reduces the shadowing and other hindrances that you would typically encounter with a conventional light tower. This particular GB4000 is mounted on our MLT DA7 light tower. And it's a fairly unique light tower in itself. Uh, this is a unit that produces 6,000 watts of continuous power. And it also uses as its power source one of our highly regarded whisper watt generators, which are known for their sound attenuation. Uh, this produces a decibel rating of just 64 decibels. And it produces 100 it produces 120 volt and 240 volt output. So you can use this to run all types of equipment along the job site, or you can use it also as a light tower. Uh, that's because the MLT DA7 is very unique in that the power unit can actually be removed from the base and be used as a standalone generator. So you're not confined to just having a light tower for the sake of having a light tower. Juan, can you tell us a little bit about the towing capabilities of the, uh, the light tower? How well does the balloon light hold up uh, during transfer? What kind of special uh, requirements does the uh, contractor need to pay attention to when towing this product? Uh, another great question. Simply by lowering the mass down to the ground level, you have the ability to gather all the balloon material, zip it up into a self-contained package. At that point, it's very simple just to remove the balloon assembly from the mass. You can put that in the back of your truck, so you don't have to worry about tri driving down the highway and having the balloon exposed to wear and tear on the road. Everything zips up into a very nice tight package and stores away readily. Con, you mentioned that the, uh, the light tower could be used as a separate generator. How does that work? Well, Ryan, that's another good question. In this particular case with the MLT DA7, we've taken one of our, st one of our standard sound attenuated generators, like I said, a whisper watt, and we have it installed on a modular design. Essentially what that means is the cabinet itself can be removed in its entirety, generator, engine, and all, and be used on a separate application, leaving you with just a light tower trailer that could be used on its own. If the contractor also has one of our 225 amp welder generators, he also has the flexibility of being able to substitute the welder generator for this cabinet and he can send a generator welder light tower to a job. So you have optimum flexibility with the MLT series light tower. Okay, great. Thanks Juan. Right. Thank you.